Well, hello everyone and welcome to the churchleaderinsights.com September book review video. How's that for a mouthful? I'm Nelson Searcy, your host for these monthly videos, and this is number three in our new video segment that we're doing, the video blog and also uh, the video emails that we're sending out. And man, the response has just been incredible. You guys are telling me, hey, keep doing these. And so if you have some insights, if you like this, would you click through and maybe write a review uh, for me on YouTube or write a comment on my blog or send over an email and let me know that you find these helpful. And I think it's kind of cool that I can show you the books each month as opposed to just telling you about those. Well, I have two great books that I want to tell you about this month. One is a pretty new book and one is a somewhat of a classic book. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, let me say, if you're not getting our Church Leader Insights newsletter, let me encourage you to go to the website, churchleaderinsights.com and sign up for our free newsletter. And then if you do get the newsletter and you find these book reviews helpful, why not forward this over to a friend? Because that's the way the Church Leader Insights family works. It's one pastor telling another pastor where they found something beneficial. And so I want to thank you for being a part of our family and thank you for sharing about this resource. Well, let's jump right in. I have two books that I want to talk with you about today. The first one is this book right here. It's called Eyewitness to Power, and it's by David Gergen. Now, if David looks familiar to you, it's because you've probably seen him on CNN and other uh, news stations on the, on the television. Now, this book is somewhat dated. It's been out for a few years, but uh, it's recently come back into popularity because David was one of the featured speakers at the Bill Hybels Willow Creek Summit. And I, I missed this book somehow a few years ago when it came out, but uh, David spoke at the Willow Creek Summit, and so I went and picked this book up. Now, since I bought the book, it's actually available as well on Kindle at Amazon.com, so just forward the link below this video and you'll be able to go straight to that page. But what I didn't realize about David Gergen is that he had a chance to spend significant amount of time with a number of great leaders. For example, he served with uh, Nixon, he served with Ford, he served with Ronald Reagan, he served uh, with Bill Clinton. And so about the only modern president over the last uh, uh, two or three decades that he did not serve with were Jimmy Carter and uh, George W. Bush. And so it's really interesting uh, book to read as you hear his observations about each of the presidents. And what he does is he looks at each of the presidents through the eyes of their leadership strengths. And so, for example, one of the things that I learned in reading about the story of Richard Nixon is how important it is as a leader to make sure you have someone who's pulling the good out of you and not just feeding the negative side of you. And you'll have to read that story if you want to read or learn more about that. One of the things I learned from his chapter on Ronald Reagan is that leaders don't have to focus on 50 different things. You know, Reagan did not focus on 50 different things. His leadership ability was the ability to focus on the few things that had the biggest difference. In the chapter on Ford, I learned about how decency and integrity and morality can bring calm in the midst of a, a tumultuous period in the life of a church or the life of a nation. And then from Bill Clinton, I learned about the power of communication and how you say things really mattered. I also uh, learned a lot about resiliency in reading the chapter on Bill Clinton. So I highly recommend this book. And whether you uh, read it from cover to cover or not is not important. You can just pick your favorite presidents and read about those. Or you can just read his summary chapter in the back of the book where he summarizes what he learned from all of the presidents. But I've now become a David Gergen fan, at least of his leadership writing and of his leadership insights. So this book is called Eyewitness to Power. The subtitle is The Essence of Leadership. Well, the second book that I have for you is one that's actually somewhat obscure, and uh, I actually owe a thanks to a couple of my friends who gave me this book. This book is called In Search of Timothy, and it's written by a guy by the name of Tony Cook, and that's spelled C-O-O-K-E, and uh, Tony is a professor and a conference uh, leader, and uh, Tony has written a great book about what it means to serve on the church staff. And this is not necessarily a book that uh, senior pastors are going to learn a lot from, but it's the type of book that senior pastors like because they can give it to their staff. And so we've actually purchased copies of this book for our entire staff, and our staff is reading this book so that they can learn what it means to be a Timothy and what it means to support the vision of the senior pastor. So if you're a senior pastor, you're going to learn a lot about what it means to be a good staff member in this book, but you're also going to find a book that you're going to want to give to all of your staff and have them read and study so that they can best support your vision. And so I learned a lot from this book, both uh, in the theoretical realm, but he does a great job of just taking you verse by verse through some of the classic passages in Scripture related to the church. And so again, it's Tony Cook, C-O-O-K-E, and the book is In Search of Timothy, and the subtitle of this book is Discovering and Developing Greatness in Church Staff and Volunteers. 
And I'll just tell you, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about what he says for the sake of time. But I'll tell you, in this book, he says some stuff that I've always wanted to say to my staff about why they shouldn't gossip. And we, we make sure that there's a no gossip uh, practice on our staff. But he explains exactly why that's so dangerous uh, to the church. He also talks to your church staff about how they have to keep growing as a leader and as a follower of Jesus Christ if they're going to mature. So, you know, I've said a lot of those things to our staff and so is our executive staff. But it's so incredible to hear that from someone else who then will take them verse by verse uh, through the process. Now, again, this book's a little hard to find. You can find it on Amazon, and we give you a link uh, just below this blog. But it's actually uh, published by Faith Library Publications. And I want to thank my friend Philip Wagner, who's the pastor of Oasis Church out in Los Angeles, also a member of my coaching network. I want to thank him uh, for recommending this book to me. It's one of those rare gems that I'm just so happy that I found. So two great books for you uh, this month. Eyewitness to Power by David Gergen, uh, back in print, back available as Kindle. Uh, on the Kindle, and then also uh, In Search of Timothy, right now only available in soft cover as well. Hey, I wanted to let you know real quick that uh, since I mentioned Philip Wagner being a part of my coaching network, I do have a new telecoaching network that's going to start in 2010. The new one just started, but we had such a response to that one that we've added a new one in February 2010. I also have in-person networks starting in New York and Tampa in February 2010. So if you're interested in either of those, now's the time to apply. Just check out churchleaderinsights.com and click on the coaching tab. Hey, I'll be back next month with two more great books for you. In the meantime, just remember, all leaders are readers. God bless you guys.